What an incredible job on this film. I absolutely loved it. My, my family enjoyed it so much. Great family film. Now, this is based on a comic book um, uh, called Little Nemo. How much of the visual elements did you take from the actual comic book? Honestly, not that, not that many. Uh, you know, it was more of a jumping off point for the sort of development of the story and the idea for the, the screenplay. Um, but, you know, when we were coming up with the dreams themselves that, the, that our characters were passing through, it was really, we were trying to find dreams that felt really different from one another, sort of create a character the, of, of the dreamer themselves and sort of build the world out that way through kind of character as opposed to just going back to the, to the comic strip. This is a fantastic, a fantastical film, but uh, the visual elements in this film are stunning. Um, were there any dream sequences that you wanted to possibly spend a little bit more time on, or maybe dream sequences we didn't get a chance to see in the film that you wanted to uh, add in there? There was, I mean, at a certain point, there, no, there's nothing that I'm like sort of disappointed we didn't get to do, um, you know, and ideally we get to make another one and then we can come up with a bunch of, of you know, new dreams for that. Yes. But there were definitely some other dreams that were really interesting. There was one that took place in the Old West uh, that was around in the script for a long time, and I'd like to re revisit that one because it was it was also really clever. The sort of the dreamer was really clever, and the sort of concept of this Western town was really clever. It would be really fun. Now you got me imagining it in my head. Huh? I yeah. I got to see it. Uh, I want to talk about Jason Momoa for a second because his character Flip is, is wonderful. Um, yeah. and he brings so much to the role. Can you talk to me about working with Jason and collaborating with him to craft the character of Flip? Sure, yeah. I mean, he and I had been doing a, a TV show together, and we really enjoyed working with one another, and we became friends. And I was, at the time, also developing the, the script for this. And thinking about Flip, I was like, you know, Jason kind of in person is a lot like Flip. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of his personality that's in this. And so he and I spoke, and then he read the script, and he really liked it, and we kind of built the character out from, from there. But a lot of like the sort of physicality of it um, came out uh, really when he started to get into the wardrobe, when we started really? to sort of fit, fit, fit him for the horns, and he got into the wardrobe and um, you know saw his shoes and all this kind of stuff. He started, I remember one day on set before he started, he started walking around kind of like the band leader and he got into this like strange walk and yeah, so he, he developed a lot of the kind of physical aspects to it. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, um, I wanna talk about Marlo for a second too because she blew me away in this yeah. film. Uh, what did she bring to the role that wasn't necessarily on page? Uh, honestly, she's just a great actress. I, I have to say, like I was, I was really shocked because you know she was 12 when she made um, the movie with us, when we shot the movie and you know, she was just like, Look, and I've, wor I've worked with a fair amount of actors now over my career, and you know there are some who are just like really intuitive that aren't like very practiced. They might not even have that much right. sort of craft, but they really understand emotion and really listen when they're in scenes and pay attention to the other actor. and And she's one of those people. Right. I mean, she can she's got the switch like in between takes. She's a lot of fun, and then when you start going, she's like really there and really present and and really understands it and is really smart and very intuitive. Now, uh, if you had your own pearl that you were searching for in this movie, uh, what would your wish be once you uh, got that pearl? You mean in real life? In real life, yes, yes, yes. Oh man, I don't know. I'm horrible. <laughs> these, these, are the <laughs> these are questions. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, don't know what that, I don't know what that would be. Fair enough, but uh, um, let me talk about Jason for a second because you said that he really uh, came, because we don't see Jason in a ton of comedies. Right. Um, talk to me about uh, what he brought to the role once he actually uh, put on the clothes and, and the horns and embodied that character. Um, I think he just started to have fun. Like he brought on the physical aspects of it, the way he walked, the way he moved, to those like the the idea of him sticking out his gut. Like there's all these kinds of things that just you know weren't weren't scripted. And and I think you know when you're making you know stories like this and movies like this, you really want somebody to come in um, and be additive with their performance, and that's kind of what he did, right? Like we had some of the jokes written in, but you know to sort of create this kind of living, breathing, physical, moving creature, um, that was something that he was able to really sort of sh shine with. <laughs>